So he's like not telling his friend everything about the girls. Then you got old girl cheating on that new plug. Then you got the two girls not being, you know, truthful to one another. Mm. Uh, one girl is dating the girl, uh, despite like, you know, they had the whole girl code situation. She's going to do right. it anyway. And this other girl, she decides, Hey, since you're doing that, I'm going to do my thing. So it's just like, it's just all like, nobody's really friends. No, there's just a bunch of people just doing shit with each other. It's like, no, like literally nobody, not even shine a tone. Cause he, remember yeah. he was like, don't talk to me like no little boy. Stop acting like a fucking little boy. It's like, don't nobody fuck with nobody in this movie. The grandma don't even fuck with nobody. Put the tape in, nigga. <laughs> Every time I see that nigga, I just think of, I just think of the big. A lot of niggas want a fifty do a dibbo tape. Yo, fifty, what's this? Oh. You are now tuned into Black on Black Prime. Prime. Um, disclaimer: Like I said, every fucking uh, episode, we don't care if we liked it or not. We still watch your shit, and congratulations to you. We support you, and uh, shout out to you, nigga, because you you made it. We don't know you. We're watching this. Your movie. Anybody around the world can watch your shit. You made it, my nigga. You famous. You good. Just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click it. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, everybody. we back. We're back for another. We're back to the movies, y'all. And we back black. to the back to the two movies and we black. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's uh, it's getting a little scarce out here in these black <laughs> streets, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It, it took me a while to try to find a uh, something because everybody talking about um power right now. But that's the only show. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. And we're coming to an end of that. Damn. It ain't gonna be the end of us though. <laughs> no, it ain't. Um <laughs> it it is desperate. It is desperate times though. Like yeah. it's it's really desperate. Uh we 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 started off doing this because of the love we had for the black films that didn't get a lot of attention growing up. And then um Tubi was the focus who was doing this. Mm -hmm. But it seems like the shit is going off a deep end to nowhere now. It feels like nobody respects the craft. Nobody, um, it, it feels like uh since they opened the door for everybody to make movies, mm -hmm. they're just running in and just making bullshit. It, it's um it's like the the rapper when the rapper shit became singy songy, and then Soulja Boy cracked open the internet so everybody can get seen or heard that everybody made the same shit over and over and over. And everybody's saying how they're going to kill you and smoke and fuck your bitch and your bitch and I got money. And then they have 17,000 different rappers with the Lil and the initials and the killer, killer B, all of this. This, this is what Tubi's becoming. This is that. That's the, the movies are that now. It's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mentality. It's broke. You know, <laughs> it's broke. Oh, man. It's uh. I mean, there's an audience for it, apparently, because it's like there there are people that would say this is a this is a good movie. Ten out of ten. You know, what I mean, I feel like it's being graded on a curve. Mm -hmm. so I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not I can't totally do this. Like, you know, some of it is entertaining because it's just like I don't take it seriously enough to be like, oh, man, that's too much. It's kind of like you got to take what you get. You know, what I mean, it's like when you see, you know, a little kid draw a picture, you'd be like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> fuck no <laughs> then you hang it up on your refrigerator now I'm not saying that these movies are, are that are like bad like a kid's picture but more of like it's you have to grade it a certain way because it's like I feel like you know there's a lot of things in this or in, in, in these movies not just this that I see like little small errors like editing issues you know what I mean mm. or like continuity issues and it's just like you know hey you gotta take it for what it is you know what I mean just in, I guess just enjoy the story as much as you can and try to, uh, you know, get what you can get out of it. Like, you know. That's the last all it is now. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I don't, I, I hate to, um, I, I hate to judge because even when I'm talking about the little rappers and shit, mm -hmm. I know that's not for me. So I just don't listen to it and I don't judge it. I don't have no opinion on it. Mm -hmm. I see the, the, the cookie cutter shit they do, like put on this, Wear this skinny, colorful shit. Rap about guns. Hold guns. Actually, try to shoot some niggas. 
talk about the money, talk about little bitch, every other line, like no substance. We're just here because we're here. And I, I know to avoid that. Mm. Um, I have a passion for music, just like I have a passion for movies. Uh, I don't want to do any more Tubi movies. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta support the community, man. Like you know, yeah. they're not supporting our community. They're fucking up our community. <laughs> I'm getting sick of it. It started off. It's it started off cool. It started off with the okay, low budget, but you still trying to give a story. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Um, the movie today. What's the story? I feel like the story is pretty much this deception. It is is more of about a a group of people that are not. I feel like they're not even loyal to each other. You know what I mean? Like you got best friends that don't tell each other nothing that go behind each other's back. And I mean, I feel like it's a real story, and it really could happen. But I'm not from that side of the the tracks. First of all, so it's mm-hmm. like I don't know how they get down out there. Plus, I'm not a drug dealer, so I can't relate. But at the same time, like this whole story was just about deception. It's another deception story. It's just like, oh, like girl, he cheating behind your back. Oh, um, this girl is is jealous, so she's doing this in order to get you back. Like it's just a bunch of like a ball of deception. That's all I got from it. You know, I, there's there's no like real like oh there's there's no character development. There's no, um, uh, like, it's kind of like they're, they, they spend a lot of time just like uh, in this movie, it was a lot of time in like the strip club or whatever. It's like, they kind of, I don't know, building, they're trying to build like some type of, you know, they're setting the scene or setting the mode, the mood of the, the movie. And then you finally get to like the real shit. Like at the end of the day, this movie is just about a group of people that, are i guess they're just deceiving <laughs> that's how i felt about it like i didn't really get it until i mean i got what it was about but i didn't really get the full like oh shit like this is what's going on because nothing else is i mean the movie's not a really about the drug game like that like they do drugs but they don't really like tap into it or nothing it's just like hey we need drugs from this one guy i'm fucking his girl um <laughs> <laughs> you get caught up it's just like it, it kind of just it comes some things just come out of nowhere i'm just like damn you know the main character get you know popped out and they don't really uh you know how some scenes like in movies like they'll give you a break of the person so it's like you'll see a scene of uh, a couple talking having a conversation like yeah baby you know tonight we're gonna go out and uh, have dinner you know and then the mm-hmm. next scene is them walking in to have dinner like there's no break so it's like it looks really like scene by scene by scene like the scenes are not cut up right from for me i'll give you a perfect to where, example to where, that. to where it doesn't flow perfect example of that he walked her in it was a surprise party surprise this is my mom and dad hi mom and dad i got one more surprise for you oh what drop my knees will you marry me yes slid the finger slid the ring on the finger before she could even say yes stood back up i got one more surprise go outside brand new uh mercedes benz it, it literally all just flow like that there was no cut there was no um I don't know. They don't give a fuck. (laughs) There's no, like, it doesn't keep you, I guess. um, I mean, I guess there, there's a, uh, a traditional way of of editing or putting together a film. So it's like, you, you kind of look for that. And it's like, when you see something different, it's just like, like, is that bad or is it just different? You know what I mean? It's a different way of, of how they putting it together or is it lazy? You know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to, to the shit on like the production fully but uh, you know is i feel like you can you can tell a lot of things like a lot of things are obvious versus you know you know how sometimes they try to like movie magic and try to hide things like in this mm-hmm. there's no real you know movie magic to where it's like if i hit a if i hit a person it's like i'm hitting you on this side of your face but just bruises on this side of your face you know what <laughs> i mean so that, you know what i mean shit like that are just like okay am i being picky you know what I mean, should I be that picky on a, on a movie that I know is a lower budget film and they just trying to get off the ground? I feel like it's a money grab. There are movies sure. where they're trying to they're trying to get off the ground. I've seen those type of movies. I when I watch a movie only because I I, I want to one day make movies. Uh, that's why I give a lot of credit when I watch a low budget movie when I can see what they're trying to do. 
Yeah. I can see the story you're trying to do. I can see the, the the picture you're trying to paint. I didn't see no trying in here. I, 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 I didn't I didn't feel like they tried to paint a picture as much as they said. It, it's like they, they had a board up that said, we got to make sure we got drugs. We got to make sure we got sex and we got to make sure we have murder. Yeah. Let, now let's just let's just throw it around like whose line is it anyways here's your scenario drugs sex murder and deception right it's like it's like how you talk about music right like there's a there are songs out there right now like literally maybe like like maybe hundreds of thousands of songs right about the exact same thing like there's no mm-hmm. there's no real change up it's just like i'm gonna talk about my car i'm gonna talk about these drugs i'm gonna talk about this house and then I'm gonna have a hook that don't have nothing to do with what I said, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In the middle, I mean, I, I guess you can com- compare it to that. It's just like these movies, they just add what they know a hit is. Like, okay, we're gonna put some money in, cool, mm-hmm. we're gonna add the, the titties in, you know what I mean? Yep. Throw those in there, or whatever. Um, we're gonna throw an actor or somebody in there that uh is known, and we're gonna have some 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 baddies in there. You know what I mean? And it's like and that's almost like a long music video. The problem is those actors, those are uh two B actors we've seen before, and they're not bad actors. They're not bad actors. Not not all of them, at least. So it's like you you have the quality of actors you could use to get your story across. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like they didn't give a fuck about the story. And it is more about look at the the glamorous lifestyle we're leading. Everything is about how much money we make in the drugs and sex and deception. It's it's there's no story there. I felt like they tried to have a because it's like you already know what's up. You know what I mean? Like I heard the name J Rock and Jason. I'm just like that's J Rock. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because I felt like they kept switching the name. Like where's J Rock? Where's Jason been? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like you kind of put those two together. But it's like you know I, I guess they try to you know hit you. Is that's the twist at the end? Like so if you weren't paying attention. It's just like it kind of hits you, just like, oh, that's that person. And you know, you go back, they give you a little flashback scenes, like, okay, this is what you should have been keeping up with. But technically, you've already been keeping up with it. Like it's, it's kind of obvious. But you could but you could punch the holes in the shit because there's no way you don't know her boyfriend was the nigga that beat you up. And this is supposed to be your best friend. Right. Yeah. So it's like, and I, that kind of confused me a little bit at first because it's like you it's like these. Is there? I would guess, I guess there was just so many different like there were not a, a bunch of different stories, but some of the people just didn't connect for me. I guess uh, mm-hmm. like as far as people like that one, like the main girl didn't know. Uh, like what was what's her name? Landon, I think her name was the lawyer. She didn't. Yeah. Know, she didn't know the stripper girl. Uh, she she's like um, by default. I guess she knows her because of uh, what's her name. I forget these girls' names. Um, Cause Landon is cool with who is Landon cool with? Landon the lawyer. She was cool. Was She's cool with the main stripper girl. She's cool with that the the main stripper girl. The um that was her best friend, the black girl. Yeah, the dark, dark skin, the dark skin. Okay, so that was her friend. Okay, so so they did have a connection. I'm trying to think who didn't have a connection. She didn't have a connection to the other one to live with her grandma, Paige. Cause she was mm-hmm. messing with her. Okay, yeah. So that that kind of comes together at the end, you know what I mean? Because they messing with the same dude, you know. Um, the the the, I guess the the speed of this movie. I don't know how many years passed by, but it's like he met this girl. He saw her in the club with his homeboy, and then it's just like tomorrow they was getting they getting engaged. That's how I felt. That's exactly how I felt. It, I, it felt like because he went to the strip club. I don't like nobody in here. Uh, the main girl sitting on Biggie Smalls' lap. Uh, he's sitting with Biggie Smalls. Mm-hmm. She like, oh, you, do he want to dance? Uh, mm-hmm. Even though it's clear Biggie Smalls is fucking her on the regular. Right. He's supposed it. to be trying to settle down with him, but then she's like, I like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he does. He's not there for that. He's just there to count money. And then the next time he comes, the the la- the lawyer girl's there, and he like, oh, she's cute. I'll pay for your tab. Um, and that's how he somehow gets a date with her. But the dark skin girl's like, I like her sister code. Uh, you can't like him. You, I like him. You can't like him too. But she ends up liking him, and then she still gets permission for it. But that's not good enough because she's mad because she liked him first. That that's not a. That, I don't feel like that's a code. Just because you like somebody, you messing with them. You know what I mean? Like it's not a. It's that. That's not. <laughs> there is a code, but that's not it. You yeah, can't. You can't. Um. 
you, you can't say I like him. You can't like him too. And then, and then turn around and say, uh, I don't care. If I ask you, <laughs> it's funny how ironic uh, me saying this. If I ask you, Hey man, are you tripping? If I talk to her and you say, nah, I ain't tripping. You can't turn around and act like a bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's ironic as fuck. It ain't like I went around your back. It ain't like I, I snuck and did the shit. I told you straight up. Look, this is what I. She like me. I like her. I want to make sure it's cool with you. Oh, I ain't tripping. If you ain't tripping, then nigga, you ain't tripping. Don't turn around and act like no bitch about it. Yeah, like if she's your girlfriend, then that's when man code kick in. I feel like girl code kicks in like that too. Like you can't mess with somebody that's already been messed with. That's yeah, it's it's different. It's different if you if you've already developed something and then you break up, that's where the man code comes in. Like I wouldn't even I'm not, not even gonna look your way. But if you tell me ain't shit happened, she telling me ain't shit happened. And she and don't but, like you, but but there was there might have been some energy there. But if you say uh oh, I ain't tripping, then that energy's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I understand it. <clears throat> it didn't um uh fully makes sense to me but i mean because it, it's like she broke that code real quick too like she didn't really care it was just like they saw each other you know what i mean he kind of you know hit her with you know a little bit of game and it was like they was together they was having surprise parties for each other like real quick so i'm <laughs> like i know time went by i just don't know how much you know what i mean like because yeah. in order for yeah. you to do that i would think that at least a year had went by if a year would have been why that makes sense to me it's like a lot of stuff right, they, all they, they did was go to they went yeah. to a museum. They they didn't say how long we'll buy. Oh, went to a but, museum. It was like a time travel. <laughs> but at the same time, when you met him, you're sitting on his best friend's lap, mm -hmm. looking at him, asking if he wants to. He tried to send you, but he was like, "No, nah, I ain't here for that." He basically told you, "I don't like you." So there ain't no fucking code there. Yeah, you in this club fucking? There ain't no code here. Just because you want to fuck this nigga, that ain't no fucking code. That shit is dumb. That shit is dumb. Yeah. Um, so with with Biggie Smalls and old boy, it's funny because old boy is a is a TikToker. I think his name is like Tattoo Tattoo Man or something like that. Tattoo Man. And um, it wasn't hard to take him serious because I mean he's a decent actor, but it was just like all I mm -hmm. kept hearing was him. He does his Terrence Howard impression. All I kept hearing him say is mine. And this <laughs> I gotta show you the video. I might even post it up if I can, but I think it's hilarious, low key. You know, be low key funny. Um, but, so what I'm saying is he's not a bad actor, but his nah. character was written terribly. His character okay, so his character is supposed to be a man of uh of integrity and pride, right? Yeah. He met the girl, he settled down with the girl. The other girl sends him a bottle to his table, he gets her phone number and goes to fuck her the same night. Yeah, you, he, just that fast, you said fuck everything. He's another, he's just another nigga, man, that just didn't like that girl at the time. Like, so that, that, what you felt that came off is just him, like, having, like, standards, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't like this girl. I know she be, she pretty much fucking a homie. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I know that for a fact, and I know you a stripper. I don't want you. I see this other girl here, you know what I mean? I want that, but that don't stop me from, you know, going out here and doing my shit. Like, you know what I mean? He was just another nigga like Sean was. Nah. It's the same, nigga. It's the same, same nigga, same nigga. They still, they both do drugs and they both be out in the streets. I mean, they don't they, do drugs; they sell drugs. I mean, sell drugs. The only thing that's <laughs> only thing that's different is that he's not uh, paying to smash. Well, he didn't think he was. Yeah, because it's like she, she, you know, set him up or whatever, and then fell in love. Um. <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of middle of this movie like the middle part to where um so i guess two girls are at the club um they're there to kind of give a warning to this guy named j-rock that these guys are in here or whatever they're gonna set them up i don't know they got beef whatever the case is they, oh no before that so light skin dude um the one you were just talking about uh tone he goes mm -hmm. to because they're looking for j-rock you ain't heard from j-rock biggie like right. i text him he ain't call me back so he goes to the house to mm -hmm. and his sister opens the door. <laughs> hey, what's up with them doors? Because she opened the main door, right, to let him in, and then she went in the other door, and then he was like, "You ain't seen J Rock." She like, "Nah," and she only closed that door, and then he left. <laughs> but it, was, it was two door. It was weird. But so he's let. So they're looking for J Rock. Can't find J Rock, mm -hmm. and then she shows up to the club. Uh, 
Did they make it known? Else. Did they make it known that J Rock was an enemy, or was they just looking for J Rock? They just said we're looking for J Rock. I yeah. thought it was one of their boys. Right, same, same. It was like when I heard his name or whatever. It didn't seem like it was like a a beef there. Up, <laughs> up, huh? Did we say what movie this is? Or we, just... <laughs> we just started talking. Um, this movie is called Watch Your Back. To be original, <laughs> we just started talking. I mean, you start going off, so I was like, "Shit, fuck it, I just let it flow." Uh, yeah. we, don't, we don't normally come in like that, uh, <laughs> but yeah, this movie is called Watch Your Back. So, uh, so J Rock, we don't know it's J Rock's sister. Well, we do because he says that. So they uh, they end up going to the same club with uh, the dark skinned girl, uh-huh. and she goes to the bathroom. She goes to the bathroom and then right after J Rock's sister and another girl come in and they like, yeah, let's go. She like, I can't leave because J Rock told me to watch Sean and Tone mm-hmm. and to text him when they leave because he gonna kill him. Who go in there talking? Who's who goes into a public bathroom talking about a plan and not checking who's in the bathroom? They didn't even go to the bathroom. They just went in there and looked in the mirror. It's like, hey, mm-hmm. let's do this little setup or whatever um yeah so yeah. and then they walk out what so so then they walk out in the dark skin girl what's her name um it, it, i, I tried to woman. look it up on imdb but i think it's kanisha but or something like that it start with a k okay uh, uh i don't remember her name call her kanisha for now all right so kanisha hears it she runs out she whispers to biggie biggie don't tell tone what's going on if if i if, if i'm with some niggas and some shit's going down tell me what's going on don't don't um go handle it yourself Cause that's gonna piss me off. Yeah, cause he didn't tell old boy. He just um, she whispered in his ear, and, and he I, whispered to the security dude. Uh, is he security? Cause he was just standing like security guard. But dude, what are they? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I got one thing to say before we move on. <laughs> it's always a nigga there that don't say nothing. Like they nothing. just have a conversation. The nigga should be sitting there. Like I think they was watching. They was talking and watching TV or something like that. It was just a nigga in the background, just kind of looking at him when they was counting money. Yeah, it was okay. So I was like, "Nigga, are y'all cool?" Uh, that's the same dude. He uh earlier. That's a nigga that wanted to fuck on uh, the dead girls, right? Yes. Not only that. Uh, before when we first see him, they're shooting dice, and mm-hmm. then he says something like, "We need the drugs now." The the streets is something like, "We need the drugs." Right. He's like, "All right, all right, I get to it in a minute." In a minute, they set it up like something was going on with him. Yeah, they put that nigga in the corner. <laughs> I was just like, who is this nigga? Why is he just sitting here? And why is he not saying nothing? It look <laughs> creepy. I was just like, yeah, uh, you, ain't, you ain't got no lines this scene. Just stand right there. It's like one of them things. Where it was like, <laughs> he was just, he was in there for uh for lighting. Just like, yeah, cover, <laughs> we cover this another, light. We need another nigga for this scene, man. Get your ass in here. Cover the light uh, up. So, so the dark teen girl tells Biggie, Biggie whispers to that dude. Mm-hmm. Then he leaves. Um, Nothing happens after that, really. But later on, Biggie gets a call like, like we got them bitches. And then Biggie shows up and kills the girls. Yeah, so even before that, uh Oh Tone, yeah, before that, yeah. Tone like, Tone Tone goes to old girl's office, uh Landon's office, because mm-hmm. uh, you know, he's filling her or whatever to to hire her as his lawyer just in case some shit pop up. They never said what the mm-hmm. shit was. I, I get that he was just you know, paranoid, or he was just there just to try to get her. It wasn't even, he didn't even need no lawyer, probably. He was just, that was his way of getting in. No, he was paranoid because he said earlier, remember he was talking to Biggie, he was like, shit just ain't been feeling right lately. He was like, I just, I feel like some shit's going on. I'm worried, basically. But I wanted to say before that, so the big drug dealer shows up to um to uh, to uh the club, the the bigger dude, and he has the, the big tall nigga with him. The mm-hmm. tall dude is a good actor. I don't know why he didn't get no lines in this motherfucker. He's a security guard. Yeah, he's a but he's a I've seen him in other movies. He's a good actor. I don't know yeah. why I didn't get they didn't give him one line. But anyways, he shows up. They ask him for the drugs. He like, yeah, let's party. I'll, I'll get y'all the drugs. That's nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, when Biggie gets the call that they got the girls, he wakes up with his girl. Yeah, the, the big time drug dealers do his girl. You don't know it at the moment. Yeah, it's like when you fart, when you see him with her or whatever, you're just like, oh damn, that's his uh his little thing or whatever. Cause mm-hmm. like I guess they sitting around and she was, he was like make maybe some dinner or something and she was just like uh take me out to eat and then she started giving him head through his jeans no i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> so that's <laughs> i'm like you're not gonna zip your pants or nothing huh that's what's up ain't no time for that uh but biggie kicks her out no shirt on she like oh i gotta get my purse he like nah fuck that cheap ass purse is knock off anyway 
and then we see her pop up to do like where you been at oh, i've been with my mama and my friends and he's like oh you gonna cook me something to eat uh i'd rather do the other thing you like no like you said don't pull out on the pants just go down to it and make a slurping sound uh um, oh, because he asked her, he said, you still got them keys in your purse. So I guess she just runs around with keys in her purse. <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> so it's like, that's they, I guess that's they, they, they're trying to have this guy be the plug while he's sleeping with his girl, which is why I was saying like this movie is just like about like deception. Because first, Big didn't tell Tone. I'm going to call him Big because that's how I know him. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Jamal uh, Gravy or something like that. That's his real name. Yeah, uh, uh, and here his name is Sean. Who's saying his name yeah, is his, Sean? His, okay, yeah, his name is Sean in the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's like not telling his friend everything about the girls. Then you got old girl cheating on that new plug. Then you got the two girls not being you know truthful to one another. Mm-hmm. Uh, one girl is dating the girl, uh, despite like you know they had the whole girl code situation she's gonna do right. it anyway and this other girl she decides hey since you're doing that then i'm gonna do my thing so it's just like it's just all like nobody's really friends no there's just a bunch of people just doing shit with each other it's like no like literally nobody not even shine the tone because he yeah. remember he was like don't talk to me like no little boy stop acting like a fucking little boy it's like don't nobody fuck with nobody in this movie the grandma don't even fuck with nobody put the tape in nigga <laughs> Every time I see that nigga, I just think of, I just think of big. A lot of niggas want a fifty do a nibble tape. Yo, fifty, what's this? Oh, <laughs> hey, but baby, baby. <laughs> oh man, we got to review that movie one day too. I can't wait till we start being able to have a chance to review movies that we have that are older that you know don't need buzz. That people just come to see. Us talk about them, and we can just do whatever we want. We can review mental society <laughs> if we felt like it. We got time to do that now because ain't shit on. I mean, but ain't nobody. <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> telling you, on it. everything I love, I'm not going to keep doing these movies. I Look. can't. If they don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like I said, oh, well, like we were saying, she fucks the, the plug dude. Yeah. Um, They pop old girls. Um, They the pop brother, the girls or whatever, the sisters. That, uh, the sisters. And then, um, yeah, like from from then on, I felt like it goes m- more into uh, tone and his relationship with uh, Landon. Mm-hmm. I mean, you start seeing them build something. Um, what's her name? Paige. Is that her name Paige? The other light skin one? I never think of their name was Paige. The her name one. was Paige, the one with the grandma? Yeah, so it's like yeah. she's going through financial problems, so she pretty much is like she about to start stripping and soon, you know what I mean? Because she mm-hmm. she has to pay her grandmother's bills, so she decides like first she's just like I'm not that type of girl. Then mm-hmm. she she goes from stripping to like all right, I'm a I'm a trick this nigga to give me money. I'm a be in a relationship with this nigga or whatever to give me money, and I'm gonna have a threesome with <laughs> Sean. Like she went through all of these stages of just like I'm not that type of girl to like. Pull out everything. Pull out the uh, the 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 <laughs> the, the, the relationship with Tom part was the dark skin girl's idea. Right, 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 right. She was just like, you know, you want to get money or whatever. Like, you know, I got, I got a plan. I I have no idea how she talked her into this plan. Like to be, she said <laughs> to go from that to that. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's like that's some fucked up shit. Like, that, and she knew that that was her homegirl's husband. She explained it. She said she broke the girl code. Mm-hmm. So fuck her. We ain't real friends. Uh, and her thing was like, just have sex with Tone. He's a nice enough guy that he's just going to start leaving you money. Okay. That was the plan. And yeah, that didn't even make sense to me because I'm like, okay, that's that. That's you need the money now. Yeah. Like, that's all the time I was thinking. Like, <laughs> what are you even talking about? It was like, yeah, being in a long term relationship with this nigga, he'll give you a couple of dollars. That's pretty much what that <laughs> looked like to me. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. She she played oh uh Kaniga played Landon in her face like hardcore. Mm. Uh, but you know, it was what it was. Just like you said, they got married really quick. You know, what I mean, they became like this couple to where they did shit. They was even living together. No, they didn't get married. They was engaged. I mean, not you're not getting married yet. They got engaged and they was living together. And like, mm. I guess he got upset that. It's like, you know, she was busy one week and was just like, oh, man, she ain't giving me no ass. So I got to go out here in the streets. So but so uh, um, what I'm saying about it, what I was saying about his standards, he um, the, the type of nigga he was, 
you not just going to get this girl's phone number because she sent you a bottle and just go fuck her that night. That's not the type of nigga he is, it don't seem like. Uh, yeah, so I said, it's like, he was just like the other nigga, man. Basically, like, nobody got real, like, m- like no morals or no <laughs> real standards up in here. It's just like, shit, it depends on the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Today, I'm going to be like this. Tomorrow, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess, man. Anything could happen, you know what I mean? Because this nigga, he smashed raw early, quick. You know what quick. I mean? And they're and they're clapping. There was so many sex scenes in this that, like, just like I remember, this is the glue. It's the glue. It and the sex scenes didn't even seem. I don't. It just seemed so random. Like it. Uh, I don't know. There was there was no. Even with the sex scenes, it seemed like just action. Yeah, do that bender up right quick. All right, and cut. It, it didn't seem like it. I don't know, man. This nigga I don't Biggie. know. That nigga Biggie stay having a sex scene, boy. He, he had <laughs> having sex scenes in this sense notorious. <laughs> he was like, it's not a car truck. I need it. I need it right here. How many sex scenes? Oh. This shit is wild, man. What's this? No. Yeah, nah, for, man. It's, um, I mean, we could wrap the, the the film pretty much goes from that point to where they get married to well, not me. I'm sorry. Getting married. I keep saying getting married. They get engaged mm-hmm. and um, they find out that, well, are we am I speeding too fast? If I say J-Rock comes in and sees uh, that's the end, that's that's the end. end. Mm-hmm. So what, what comes? But, the, I mean, it happened. The, it, it happened that fast. So so Tom quick. wakes up, Tom wakes up. He's texting. Or trying to call Sean. Sean's not answering. Mm-hmm. You go to his house. He never gets in the house, but then the camera goes in the house. You see Sean and the girl dead in bed with the cheap ass bag they kept talking about. I mean, OG, uh, OG, big OG killed him because big, he, found, he, he finally found, found out. out. Mm-hmm. Or he been new and he just like waited. I think right. he, I think he knew when he saw the person the first time. I, yeah, he did because they, they had a conversation. He was like, yeah. yeah, my girl just lost one of those. And he like, yeah, it's cheap or whatever. Yeah. So he, he knew then because then uh, he locked eyes with this big security dude. It was kind of like, yeah, we know what's up. Right. Uh, but he's dead. So uh, Tone don't know that, but he's dead. Then uh, then we cut to um, Paige's house. Dude shows up. The uh, J-Rock shows up. Mm-hmm. And he like, hey, I just want to see you or some shit. She like, no, nah, get the fuck on. I want to apologize. No, I want to see your grandma. I want to see your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Can I at least see grandma?" Grandma already said she don't like you. Right. Like, what do you what do you need to see grandma for? And why you let him in? So she let him in. She leave the door open. Uh, uh, what you call it? Come running in. Uh, uh, her friend. Her friend was there. She left. She came back. She said, "I forgot my phone." And she like, "J Rock, what you doing here? Mm-hmm. What you doing here? Y'all know each other? This the nigga that gave me the bruises." Yeah. Oh yeah, bitch, you shouldn't have did something, something, something. And then, uh, and then what you call it? Runs in right after. Yeah, don't run in, don't run in, and runs around him and pulls his gun out. J Rock, we've been looking for you. Nigga, you tried to kill us. And uh, J Rock, ah, oh, nigga, yeah, crib shit. And then they both <laughs> shoot, they both, <laughs> they both shoot, and they both uh drop. And Paige ends up holding Tone's head mm-hmm. and crying. So you were like, you like, is Tone dead or is he not? Uh, because then they cut to Landon, who's in the hospital, and the doctor's like, Yeah, you've been feeling weak because you're pregnant. Oh my god, I'm pregnant. Then she had a call, come to the hospital because uh, Tone got shot. Mm-hmm. And uh, when she get there, uh, Paige is in there and she's crying by his bedside, You need to get the fuck out of here. But you hear Paige say, I'm pregnant. Yeah, she's whispering, like, You gotta make it because I'm pregnant. And she's right. like, You gotta get the fuck, fuck out of here. And then so they get kicked out, mm-hmm. Code Blue. Uh, that, that he's he dies right, Cole Blue. That's what that means. I, I think he dies because she was at the gravesite. So no, and I want to say why I don't. I don't think that's what that means. Uh, but but so it's Cole Blue. That they rush out. I guess the doctors rush in and try to save him. Then we cut to two years later or a year later. A year later. A year later. Paige is at the. Uh, oh well, first we see first we see Landon with the fake ass baby. With the baby dog. hugging it, it hugging it, hugging it, <laughs> smiling. <laughs> Then then Paige goes to the gravesite, picks up mm-hmm. the fake ass baby out the out the thing, holding it, talking to the stone. Yeah. And then and then it says to be continued. Now, why I say that could not be his gravesite, it could be grandma who's dealing with her sickness has finally died and she's bringing the baby to see grandma. That's true too. Uh so like I, I felt the same way you felt, but I just I was like, okay, is either him, it could be either him. Or because they didn't know <laughs> Kanika was there too, and she they, they don't know mm-hmm. they didn't say nothing about her. Kanika could have died. Mm-mm. She was like, "What she laid? She was laying on the ground too, I think. She was. She was laying on the ground too. So she, well, she probably was. got shot too. 
But was she? They didn't. They didn't show her body. They didn't show it. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. So it could have been her too. It, it could have been, been all her. three of them. Yeah, she could have been dead. The grandma could have been dead. Yeah, Tone might. <laughs> Tone ain't gonna be dead because they like who else gonna run the movie? Because Jamal's already gone. Uh, Biggie. Yeah. So what's two part two gonna be about? More more deceit and deception. <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be. They are gonna have a baby. They, they both have babies now. So now they gotta. They they gotta be cool because they wasn't friends at first. They was just like kind of you know, <laughs> associate associates or whatever because of their other friend. So they gonna right. be cool now. They gotta raise a baby together. Tone Tone lives and he's just like, hey y'all, you know I gotta get this money. I need y'all to sell these drugs for me. <laughs> So they're gonna be <laughs> shuffing drugs in the baby's pampers and shit, and trying to, you know, I mean, try to make a way. <laughs> I come to the conclusion. And Biggie, and Biggie not dead. And that nigga dead. He had, he moved his finger. Oh, his fingertips. You right. Yeah, Biggie not dead. He was just like, I, I survived. <laughs> oh. They tried to catch me. Oh, <laughs> I crept out the back. Uh, <laughs> off the fence. Yeah, it could be a lot. Yeah. Um, a I've come to the right. conclusion. I've come to the conclusion. These, these, the black women. It's mainly black women that love these movies. I feel like they're desperate for something good, and I can't blame them. What's the last? What's the last mainstream black good movie you watch? Mainstream black good movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, the one that we saw with Tiana Taylor in it. That was right. That's movie. not mainstream though. That's true. Um, Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> okay. I'm saying that to say, in the Tay Diggs era, we have back to back yeah. good black brown movies. sugar fucking uh, it's like they kept hitting us with it at least every at least every other month you get a good one yeah even like even like little smaller like uh, these movies are like kind of off grid but they were still cool you still remember them you still could watch them again like i just watched uh breaking all the rules with jamie fox like it wasn't great yeah but, but it was good it was cool you know what but it, was like, good. it was cool it was a funny movie uh like um yeah like this this is more on uh the held up side of the game. It's <laughs> hell that wasn't as bad as people make it seem too. That's fucked up. That's, that's a bad. The movie is funny because it's like, yeah. like Jamie Foxx, right? But that was yeah. a bad movie. A bad no, movie. I, so the, like you said, it's it's more funny than good. Yeah. Um, it, we've come to the point. You remember um uh the Eddie Murphy joke when he said, "If you starving, uh, uh, a cracker would taste like the greatest thing in the world." Mm -hmm. And he's like, what is this, Ritz? This is what these movies is. It's like there's no, there's no, nobody's trying to make the those type of movies no more. Nobody's trying to do. We'll get in a TV show, yeah, but we won't get a movie like that no more. I'm, so I'm, it's like it's like you're desperate for something. You you're desperate for a good storyline, good acting, good black love. You're desperate for this shit. So anything you can get seems like the greatest thing in the world. And I feel like that's how a lot of these women are feeling. They need to resurrect. I don't know what's going on, but they need to resurrect the default black cast. Yeah, I need I need to see the Regina Halls, uh, the Regina Kings, the Sanaa Lathans, the Tate Diggs, the Morris Chestnut. Pretty much the best man cast. Uh, yeah, we but we need that. We don't have that. We can't even. We don't even have enough people to cast like that no more. Yeah, like I was like movies like that was like I mean, and and it's probably just it's that's our era, right? You know what I mean? Like we mm -hmm. were in high school when that came out, so I mean, yeah. this could be the new. It's just the new era way of doing things. It's like you know, they got it's the same people in the same movies. You know what I mean? Like we, I people probably looked at our movie like an older generation probably looked at. Well, never mind, because my mom liked some of those movies too. I was about to say you just a goddamn lie. Yeah, Everybody loved like, those. Yeah, movies. like <laughs> yeah, like. I feel like there was no real generation that was just like, man, the wood was trash. Never. I know blacks, not on black, but so. never. Saying it, it's like we don't have the default cast. We don't have the the writers that care enough to draw out a story. We don't have the real black love. <clears throat> it, it's gone. It's it's um, it's gone. Now we just got to hit the points. Hit the points. That's it. Hit the is points. It, let's put the movie out. Is it wrong for them to? Just take advantage of you know the, the the system and just get the money. It's like, hey, let's just put these. Let's just absolutely, just absolutely not. Right. Okay. I have no, I I have no problem with what they're doing. I just don't want to get on here and lie and act like I'm with the shits. 
I'm not going to I'm not going to go listen to the young rappers that I don't listen to and and go promote it like, yeah, man, but you got to really listen. It's like if it's not there for me, it's just not there for me. And that's how I feel like about these movies. I get real life mad when I turn them on. It's like you just don't care. Yeah, it's just it's almost like how how it is with with us, like, you know, us doing a a black podcast um, Mm -hmm. and having our like dialogue you know some people gonna be like oh nigga y'all niggas is trash y'all don't do enough Mm -hmm. y'all ain't doing it like this y'all not like other reviewers or whatever right so Mm -hmm. it's it's kind of like okay we have the the directors the writers they be like yo we we got our audience you know what i mean if you don't like it we didn't ask you to watch it and exactly what we'd be saying yeah i I guess it's, it's just like that you know what i mean but i feel what you're saying when it comes to this like you know you just want you know, not just you, but me, you know, as well It's like, we want better films to review because it's like, you know, I, I want to, I want to review lower budget films. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I want to, um, cause it's like, shit, that's what we grew up on pretty much. Yeah. You know I mean, like movies that people ain't even heard about, you know what I mean? Like Brian hooks, all of those movies. It's like those movies kind of shit made me, you know, want to even shit, try to give Tubi a chance. Cause I'm like, Oh shit. I, I grew up on these type of movies. I want to, you know, It'd be great to to review these back, but yeah, like if you don't, if I don't like it, I can't say I I, I love it or like it. It's just kind of you know what I mean you you grade it on a curve. And yeah, a but then I, I don't um, <laughs> I don't also don't like. We always talk about this all the time. We don't want to get on here and just talk down on it either. Like if it ain't for us, it ain't for us. I don't want to get <laughs> on here and be like and this and this. But it's like when we back to a corner, we want to watch. We have to watch something and review something. We have to. We gotta sort through the di- sort through the diamonds and the rough. Then I guess it's it's like I wish they had a section. I wish they sectioned off like this is for this audience, this is for the audience that cares. Yeah. I want that <laughs> section too. You know what I mean? Because these movies work, like you said, these movies work for the audience it works for. So I'm not mad at them getting their money. If I if I had the money to do these type of movies, I I, I wouldn't. But if I if it was a quick grab for me, I would probably do it. Yeah, the money, the money look different. You know what I mean? It's like you write mm-hmm. your say, say you write your first one and it don't do well, and you wrote mm-hmm. your heart out, and then you write some bullshit just playing, and that should do well. So you're gonna make a part two, three, and four. It's you the Tupac, I mean? it's the Tupac theory. Or right. how Tupac was writing con- rapping conscious. He was getting fame, but it wasn't the fame he got when he started rapping like a, a fucking gangster. Yes, that's true. That is that is the truth. Cause most people only really remember Tupac for his death row era. Mm-hmm. And that was not the highlight. You hear me? They'll say it. <laughs> they'll say it because they heard it so many times. And he did Bridget got a baby, and it was so deep. Like nah, strictly for my niggas had some other shit on there too. It did. It did. Uh, all of them. It, you know, it, it, I I don't think I ever. I think I listened to like Thug Life one time. And I don't remember any of it, but you know, you of course you remember some of the older stuff. But his stuff after his stuff around me against the world is what really skyrocketed him into like the world you know what i mean mm-hmm. and not to the main world though because it was all kind it was more conscious shit the conscious shit don't nobody want to nobody want to really hear it it was like you know dear I, mean? mama. I think it was dear mama is what put him over too dear mama everybody loved relating to their own mother but i'm saying as far as the, the conscious shit like he put out the bullshit that you listen to his album like even on uh all eyes on me he'll do the bullshit for the main but then if you listen to his album and hear the other shit he was talking about, it's like, oh, this nigga got a message under there. He hiding. Yeah. So, um, you want to rate? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, 50, what's this? <laughs> Put the I tape in, yeah. nigga. I'm just playing. I'm just playing <laughs> with you. <laughs> uh, Dr. Right acting. Oh, sorry. I give this movie a right. Hmm. Hello? That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn, sometimes I think about these before I do them, and then sometimes I'm just like, I just freestyle it off the, you know, my, my thoughts right now, just talking mm-hmm. about it. Um, Right. Right. Hmm. Hmm. 
I see. I get I get a production of right and I give the acting a whom. Okay. So yeah, I gave the um the production of right. It was a few things in here that I was just like mm, kind of turned me off of it. Um uh, as far as <clears throat> production went, post production. Um I gave the acting a right because I, I didn't think it was bad. I, like nobody was just like terrible for me. Um so mm -hmm. it was it was it was good. Um and the story and, and the writing, I just it was okay. Um I've seen I you know it, I I like I guess the fact that they they did a little bit of a twist, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't super I mean I caught it, but I like that it wasn't just cut and dry like they tried to go back and give you some some backstory like oh you know if you was paying attention this was this and this was that so um they tried to yeah the writing you know i the dialogue didn't bother me because there's been some movies where it's just like oh these niggas is just saying anything mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they just... the, the, the writing only <laughs> the writing only bothered me because the writing was hand in hand with the all over the place story yeah, I wish they would have like made a couple of things clear. Um, like what, what, how many days went by? I think that would have been a you know a cool break. Like throw some some little shots in there of like the the surroundings and be just like two. I mean, they already did one year later, so it's just like mm -hmm. dude, you know, um, a year later again or a few weeks, whatever. Just let me know where we at in the world. No, nah, so a lot of the, a lot of that, like I don't ever discredit that because if it's assumed, it's assumed, and I feel like they give you a lot of assumed time has passed. Not they really. they 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 give you like even with the when he met met her, he uh I I did they did rush through the whole proposal and the surprise party part, but before that you see the transition of them getting to know each other and all of that shit and building up to where they're supposed to be. Yeah, even though it was they quick, went to, it was they went there. To the museum. Yeah, they went. They went out on a date. They went to the museum. Then you see, like, uh, they they show you a couple of scenes of them spending more time together, and then they show the wake up. Um, I don't, I don't got half my stuff is at home, half my stuff's here. So it's like that's why they let you know, like, this is how far they came. Yeah, the the the, the montage, music montage usually you let you know that some time has passed, but it's like the issues that they had were very yesterday. <laughs> Cause it's just like if you think about all that time, old girls trying to get money. So if all of that time passed, why she's still trying to get what? Like, what happened in the middle part? To if like say if some months passed, she should have gotten that that bag already, or um, they would have figured out the whole J Rock situation in that time. And it's like yeah, I feel like all the way issues was just like shit. You just told me that yesterday. Like we're yeah. still working on <laughs> we're still working on our same issues. You know what I mean? Like hey Lamar, like I'm gonna need you. Uh, I'm gonna need you to help me out with something, you know what I mean? But that's that's our dialogue. And then a whole proposal goes on and it's like a relationship. <laughs> and I was like, Lamar, remember that thing I told you to get from the story yesterday? You know what I mean? That's how I felt. I get what you said. I get what you said, because it was like that. It was a uh and now that you say that, because he like you text J Rock, uh J Rock can reply. Mm -hmm. And then we get the montage, him meeting her, him settling down, her moving in, engaged, blah, blah, blah. Then they back at the club, he like. You still ain't heard from Jay Rock? <laughs> <laughs> I think you just met her, bro. I don't care what nobody say, man. Like, if you the homie, you can do whatever you want, bro. If you decide that you want to meet a girl in a day and marry her the next, bro, like, we can have a conversation about it. But at the end of the day, nigga, it's all on what you want to do. You know what yeah. I mean? If I, if I don't know this girl, if I if she bad, like as far as not looks, if she's like a bad person and I know it, I'll be like, I don't think that's a good idea. You know what I mean? I think you pussy will. <laughs> but if I don't know this person and you say you in love and be like, hey, bro, like, you know, I like that for you. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Like you have a conversation with your boy and see where his mind is at, see if he ain't drug, but what can yeah. I really, what can I really do? Not a goddamn thing. Stand by. So I, I I feel like uh maybe I'm going hard on this movie than I should only because I'm tired. Yeah, you're you're exhausted. I get it. I understand. I'm, uh, I'm tired of it, man. I'm trying to find the diamonds in the rough is harder and harder to find now because it, it because of these be, because of the way they're doing it because of the cookie cutter cutter mode because of the checkoff list. Like just make a just start from scratch and just write a good movie. Don't make sure of anything. Don't make sure it has sex scenes. Don't make sure it has drug dealing. Don't make sure. This movie could have been the same movie if 
they just made money doing something else, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This movie could have been the same movie if they didn't give random head for no reason. It could have been the same movie if they weren't the best of friends like they made them sing. It, it it's like there's a lot of a lot of heavyweighted shit for no reason. I think these movies will boom if they put them on OnlyFans. Absolutely. And just, and just really got it cracking though. Like you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, they made one for Tubi and they were just like, "Hey, this is the free one." You want the real one? <laughs> we getting down on OnlyFans. The niggas will make bank, but absolutely. But this this way ain't work. And like I said, it's only for me because it's work. It's working. That's why they keep doing it. So it's only for me. But I I need a I need another platform then because Tubi ain't for me no more. Give me a, a a real black stories platform or some shit. I need something else. We can start it, man. You know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's get the writing. Yeah, let's let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's get the writing. Let's get this shit rolling, man. If it, if it's a market, you know what I mean. It um, got it, it got to be something out there, man. I, I, I'm I'm entertained by something. I, I think the some things for me is like I can't do bad quality. Mm-hmm. I can I can watch it if you know what I mean. You give me some decent quality, and some of these movies do have good quality at least. You know what I mean. Um, story is is I. I can't judge this movie on story. And then like, I see so many of the same stories in Hollywood that are like repeat stories over and over and over again. It's just like, man, damn, I could have swore I seen a movie just like, you know what I mean? Missing girl movies I didn't see. <laughs> it, you know it's I mean? funny. It's funny that you're saying it. Cause it's like, I think that's where that's, we judge the, we judge both of those uh, totally different. Like you, you're more on production. I can, pref- I forgive production. I'm more on the story. I'm more judgmental on how the story goes. And I think maybe it's because I do the writing too, but it's no. like that, that's what my, my, ju- if production is bad, I can overlook it if the story is good. Well, I mean, the, and that, and that's where it changes for me, right? Like if the story mm. is that good, then the production don't matter. You know what I mean? Right. The story ain't never that great. <laughs> never that great. <laughs> so I got to lean on production because it's like, but, I, but I got to also get through it. You know what I mean? So yeah. if, you if you don't start the story off to to hold me, I was like, man, the production bad, and the story bad, I can't fuck with it. But if right. the production is good, you might be able to hold me for a little while because I'm just like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not it's not like they just grabbed the phone and just did this shit in the backyard. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, like, somebody put like, some effort in. <laughs> right? Yeah, man. What? But um, that what? but that could work too because we fuck with gang tapes. Game it can tape. work too if you do it right. If you do it the right way, it works. Let's just keep it real. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit something right now. If it's probably a West Coast LA movie, we probably gonna fuck with it regardless of what it looked like because it's is we like that type of content. I do. <laughs> and, and it might be the bias. If you, I ain't gonna say you wrong. <laughs> I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna at least give it a chance. Yeah, but we're not from Detroit. Uh, at, the, at the same time, that's that's a make or break for me because. Uh, because if you do it the wrong, like uh, uh, four days in a night, have you ever seen that? Yeah, with uh, RZA. That's the Oak. That's the Oakland movie. I don't like that fucking movie. I didn't dislike it. Like I watched it, and it was like it wasn't. I didn't I, like I, it because I was able to watch it all the way through. No, fuck that movie because uh, it was supposed to be representative of Oakland, but the only thing Oakland in it was where they shot it and the music. And the music and and some of the other cast members, but that main nigga was in Oakland. They had Leon playing the Oakland nigga. No, not at all. The 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 scenery's like they went from a party to a they walked through a party outside to a sideshow. Where the fuck they do that at? Yeah, I mean for, for sure that I don't know. I don't know what kind of information they did. And it's like I'm not even an Oakland nigga enough to know how Oakland's supposed to look. So when I saw it, it just reminded me of a West Coast film. Nah, man. That's how, that's how I looked at it. I didn't even look at it as an Oakland film until I heard Mac Dre. Uh, well, we knew it was an Oakland film when it came out. So, right. like I said, it's like I said, that's to make or break. Like, uh, if you're gonna do an Oakland, there's a lot. There are great Oakland films out there. There are. Yeah. This one wasn't, but it, it gave you. But they got the main, the main Netflix uh highlight. This is a movie representing Oakland. Nigga, do not the the main nigga is not Oakland at all in the movie at all oh man at, I, just, at I, just, all. I just seen a boy in the whitney houston movie play bobby brown i was just like oh man this nigga getting it this nigga's getting <laughs> roles playing rizza <laughs> as bobby brown no man whitney i haven't seen it yet put the beat on i i uh man 
yeah, it's, it's, I haven't it's, seen it yet. It's just it's but, just okay. I didn't like it that much, but it wasn't bad. It was just like okay movie. But so, but my point is, it's like yeah, I do. I love when you say something is a West Coast movie. I love it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you have to deliver, or I can turn around and hate it. Yeah. No, like like real shit. It, it, it's, but I feel like there is a they got a buffer a little bit. You know what I mean? It's just like okay, like I'm gonna check this out, even though it looks bad. Like for for me, because like I'm mm -hmm. big on production. So like a movie like when you mentioned gang tapes, I'm like yeah, that movie quality wise wasn't great, but mm -hmm. the fact that it kind of like was a West Coast movie, it made me want to watch it through, and it was funny. It was no, and that's, an, and, that, and that's <laughs> another thing too. Before I don't want to cut you off or whatever, but. Uh, <laughs> Comedy can save a movie. Definitely. So it's just like if that movie was just all like tough nigga shit, it probably wouldn't have been that great. But it was <laughs> it's, it is quotable and it's it's funny. I didn't laugh at this. I don't laugh at these movies. <laughs> Nobody's being I mean, I, I laugh when it's just like, oh, they fucked up with the, you know, yeah, they got they left something out or whatever. But there's no comedy in it to kind of like, you know how we watched the Merry Christmas movie. That was a lower budget movie, but it was funny though funny as fuck it, but it was still a great movie too right so i was like maybe these movies gotta have a little, a little sprinkle of comedy in there some some quotes to make it like oh okay at least i can it's funny it's a bad story I, but it's funny because you have a bad story and something be funny yeah but or you have a bad story and something is forced funny which ain't which ain't gonna help you but we seen one of those recently <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, that's oh uh, yeah, man. I mean, I think at, at a certain point, there will be people that'll probably recommend something. Like, I think y'all like this, you know what I mean? Because right now it's like we got to dig, like it's like digging through the crates trying to find a sample, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's like you got to keep on doing it and just shit, we'll figure it out one day. Or somebody will let us know, like, hey, y'all should watch this because I know you, I know what y'all like, and I figured that y'all like this movie. Yeah, I'd rather that approach than being <clears throat> for your own motives. I don't want to hear you should watch this because the message is deep and you know what type of niggas we are. <laughs> and then you get an attitude when we say we ain't watching that shit. Yeah. We don't want that. Like if you if you've seen our reviews so far, you see what we like, what we look for. Recommend that, man. Like don't like uh we got we got people I I, I literally said we're reviewing only black, but people keep suggesting shit that ain't black. We're not gonna review that. It is not it's not that we're not watching it. It's we we'd rather highlight uh black. That's our thing. That's why we got a fucking logo that says black on black. It's that's what we do. We don't we don't want it, the other other shit gets enough attention. Low budget, if, if there was a, if if white movies were dominating Tubi movies, they wouldn't be considered as bad as they consider these black movies. A white a white dude could do a, a grab a camera and film some bullshit and put it out and he's gonna get embraced. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get uh Academy Awards. I've seen some bullshit white movies, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not gonna lie. It was just like damn. But it's like mm -hmm. they it's the production. They hold the power to get the attention. It's the production too, because it's like you can I guarantee you, if you talk to somebody about why one of these movies that won Academy Award is good, they're going to tell you about the picture, the score, the cinematography, all of that. Everything that has nothing they, to do with the story. They're going to break <laughs> it. The story don't matter. The story is super secondary. You know, it's just like everything else. Like you said, the scenes and the, the love scene, the kiss scenes, like all of those things make a movie in that uh, realm. Mm -hmm. And if we ain't saying it's all white movies. We're just showing the the uh, to be the black the low budget movies are getting highlighted to make fun of more so than to highlight what's good about them i have noticed that like a lot on on like tiktok mm -hmm. and instagram and you know people be just like you see this shit like people are just now starting to figure out like um we did that movie um with marcus houston in it and it was a, a b-roll scene from blue street yeah I means like we called that out in the podcast you know what i mean now people are seeing it too you know what I mean mm -hmm. like oh man like this is funny it's like they shitting on the movie like they shitting mm -hmm. on his braids and and I think that is that's fuel that's making it bubble I'm telling you that's making shit wait oh I gotta see this no I, I, no and I, and that's what I said the Marcus Houston yeah I noticed that I'm like they're doing that for their attention which is smart mm -hmm. but at the same time there's other movies that ain't doing it for that 
it, it, it puts a it puts a shadow over the movies that's trying. Cause so now niggas will go to watch a turn of two movie looking for something to record with their phone and put it up like, oh my god, girl, you see this? His button was unbuttoned right here. Why would they leave that in there? Like, shut the fuck up. Watch the movie. I don't want to. I don't want to watch a movie looking for shit like that. I want to watch a good movie. I'm gonna fuck how the quality is. If if it's a good movie, that's what I want to watch. I'm not looking for the laugh points. The let me highlight this. They literally tore down the scene in uh, Stepmother of dudes. Uh, remember that shit when they when it was like that's not the same guy. It's like if you literally watch the movie, you understand why it's a kid and then it's a dude. Right. You would literally understand if you watched the fucking movie. But you, even though they came out and say, "Hey, man, it's because she's crazy. She saw it as a kid, but it was really that dude." Yeah. It's like even with that, you still want to pinpoint it like this shit. Oh my god, how they gonna put this lead this in editing? Cause it's part of the story, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> shit is aggravating. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like trying to get attention for a joke. It ain't even funny. You just sound stupid. It's starting to be content, bro. Cause like people got full pages. They don't got no podcast or nothing. They just got full pages talking about Tubi movies. Yeah. They, but ain't, they ain't really doing real, they're not even really like giving them like a real review. It's like, girl, you want to see something there? I, I couldn't believe the twist in this. Check this out. <laughs> This man right here, when he got undressed, oh, that sex looked real. What about the story, ma'am? Did you like the story? Tell me about the fucking story. If any movie start off with girl, it's probably trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one scene that that person paid attention to, and that made them be like, this movie is great. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. <laughs> girl. I respect that. It was like they was really <laughs> fucking. It's like, man, if you don't go put That's on the porn, focus. If you don't really put on Pornhub and shut the fuck up. <laughs> you a lonely ass man. <laughs> it's real That's... sex on the internet. <laughs> That's the focus. That's the focus right there. Did you see his lips? Did you see his abs? Oh, this is my Tubi crush. Watch the movie and shut the fuck up. Watch the movie. Tell me how the movie was. It okay. shut the fuck up. They cannot. That's the goal. 2024, we're going to watch movies and shut the fuck up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was it. I think that's it. And I feel like I'm leaving Tubi. I feel like the next Tubi movie we review, it'll just be Brian. I won't be here because I'm not going to keep doing this. I ain't going to keep putting myself through this shit. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, y'all be like, boys. <laughs> That see? girl got gam. <laughs> <laughs> you see them yamage? I just, oh man, man, I gotta stay away from it. I got it because I don't like tearing down black people. I don't. I gotta, I gotta find another path. I'm about to go hit Hulu. I'm about to. Man, it ain't we going, bro. It ain't it's, a, it's there. It's there, I've been, man. I've, I've been on the web, bro. Like, trust me, I've been looking, <laughs> man. And I'm like, there's movies, but they're older. We we got to do some of these older movies then, man. We got to do something because I can't keep doing this. <laughs> TV, I love doing the TV. Like like we weren't even supposed to do TV shows on here, but I love doing that more than doing these fucking movies. I'll tell you that. Uh, I, it's it's going to have to be some type of filter, you know what I mean? And maybe it's like you watch a movie, I watch a movie, and we pick out of that one, unless they just both trash, just so we can have more content. <laughs> This was a... We'll do it. We'll do that. We'll do. We'll do that shit. Cause I I can't keep doing this. Yeah. Cause like, I, I'm gonna tell y'all like this is but this is behind the scenes. Brian sent me like over four movies and I tried each. I watched at least twenty minutes of <laughs> each of them and I just couldn't fucking do it. He sent me at least four different ones. I kept trying. This is the one I I, I was like fuck it. We don't got no more time. I gotta watch it. Yeah. But I can't keep doing this to myself, y'all. I can't keep doing this. I can't. It's, oh, if it's for y'all, that's what's up. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody likes it, but I can't keep doing it. Uh, I can't. Let's give a shout out to. Uh, we ain't did this in a minute. Let's give it because like I feel like we've been doing the the movies that have been uh by the same directors and writers. Mm -hmm. Um, this movie was directed by Lisa Brown. Um, wow. writers. Oh, uh, this the writer was an actor in this movie. Um, whoever A B Z was in the movie. The dude, hey, that's the, dude. The, big dude, the big dude, and, right? and that's why. And, and you know what? Without you even telling me, I knew that. Okay, yeah, ABZ and Lisa Brown wrote this movie. 
Without you telling me, I knew that just by his presence. He didn't seem like an actor. He seemed like I wrote this. I hired y'all. I'm the nigga in here, though. That nigga pulled up in a Rolls Royce because he getting paid off these motherfucking movies. Man. I'm telling you, nigga, watch your back. Five is coming out. And shout out to him, though, man. Like, Because like I said, I don't. The reason why I don't want to do this or, or review movies I don't really fuck with is because I don't want to seem like I'm hating or shitting on what you're doing. If you getting paid off of it, I ain't mad at you because you could be out there selling them drugs for real. Get your but paper, cuz. Get your money. Yeah, get <laughs> your money, sir. But Hell the shit yeah. ain't for me. I just can't do it no more. It's just, it's just me personally. I can't do it. It ain't you ain't write it for me. You wrote it for it. Girl, child, turn on TV. Go to go down to watch your back. There's some some things in there. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you wrote it for, I, I fucks with it. Shout out to you. Oh, shit. Tyler Perry don't write all the shit for me either. Tyler Perry, right. Tyler Perry has an audience. With That's what I'm audience. saying. He and he don't give a fuck, just like we don't give a fuck. Black women that go to church every Sunday, nigga. Yep. Ages maybe like 35, 30 to like seventy. Mm -hmm. And he and, he and he getting that money. He don't give a fuck. Literally, these niggas gonna have a a, a studio one day, just like Tyler Perry. It's gonna be at the Tubi Studios. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know about that. <laughs> that might be going a little far, but like I said, get your money, man. Like I, I ain't hating for real. I just rather not. I'd rather not say anything. But we had to review something. But I guarantee it won't happen again. Like man, fuck y'all. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up too. I, I, we gonna be getting banged on. It seems like I didn't got banged on <laughs> already. I got banged on twice, or this is just one so far. I uh, once. Okay, yeah. The other ones is like a. It'd it be like a comedy. Like yeah, yeah. I like y'all review, but fuck y'all. Which yeah. I I appreciate that because that shit is funny to me. Like yeah. we don't take nothing personal. We don't want y'all to take nothing personal. Don't take my review of this movie personal. Like you said, you got paid off it. I didn't. <laughs> just be like, nigga, shut up. I'll take that. <laughs> We might get a hundred views off this motherfucking video. <laughs> ain't, ain't taking nothing off your plate, big dog. Nah, get your me. money, man. Hey, I'm not hating at all. Everything ain't for everybody. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway, so uh, rest time. rest in peace to the Tubi reviews. We'll be back with uh some we'll be back. Amazon Prime or something. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. I don't know. <laughs> Gonna be the movie, uh, girl, get my gun part two. <laughs> girl, the baby is both of y'all's. It's, it's gonna be some shit like that. I got three baby fathers, six babies. Shout out to that one girl, the, um, the one that plays Paige. She in everything, her and uh, Biggie. Yeah, all of the movies. So that's what I'm saying. Like, Paige, she's not a bad actor. Biggie definitely ain't no bad actor. None of I can't say none of them were bad actors mm -hmm. per se. There was. There's a couple of scenes when it was like, mm, could have shot that again, but who am I to say so? It ain't about the acting. It's about what's going on. For I'm, them. About to write, I'm about to write a movie, nigga, tonight. <laughs> if we had the money to make a movie, I could write a movie by tonight. I don't know, at this point, I'll be feeling like you don't really need a lot of money, bro. You just need, you need equipment and mm -hmm. you need people mm -hmm. and uh, time. Time. That, that's 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 it. I mean, I'm I'm sure they use you know a couple of dollars or whatever for like certain locations, and you know can't be working over. a full time job. Yeah, you got to live off this shit. You know what I mean? But we exactly. can do it over, we can do it over time. You know what I mean? Just, oh, for sure, it's going it's, to happen over time. Yeah. I'm just saying, if if I had the if I had the freedom to make a movie right now, you guys would love me. Hey man, we're gonna make that shit happen for y'all. You know what I mean? It's coming out soon. Coming soon to the Black on Black Studios for real. Not on Tubi. <laughs> that shit gonna pop right on Tubi, nigga. We're gonna be just like everybody else. They're gonna be just like, oh, girl. <laughs> Them niggas done made a whole podcast talking shit. Then they gonna do the same. They gonna turn around and do the same shit. These niggas got I, I, I saw this all day. All I saw was this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, man. We, we, we here, man. Um, Black on Black Prime. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, like share subscribe recommend your your black shit to us man newer we're looking for newer it, it gotta be like newer black shit we we can't do the old because nobody give a fuck about the older movies 2023 uh if possible please let us know shout out to your girl brie why for no fucking reason just because she been here since day one she the homie we out thank you for watching
Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.